Hey there, YouTubers. So when I get a new motherboard in, a lot of times I'll make a video showing you how to disable Intel's Turbo Boost in case you want to know how to do that. Usually ends up in the BIOS. Well, actually always ends up in the BIOS. Uh, Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility, which, you know, depending on your motherboard, will let you adjust a lot of things. In this case, we're working with the Z, excuse me, ASRock Z490M ITX AC motherboard. And a lot of stuff is locked out that normally isn't. Um, I can't do any core overclocking in here. And things that are locked out everywhere usually is this Intel Turbo Boost technology, Enable Disable. Uh, none of the motherboards I have have I been able to change this here. Uh, so that is usually done in the BIOS, right? So um, I found a program recently throttle stop which a lot of you obviously probably used uh, but I did not realize that uh, disable turbo boost is in here um, right on the opening screen so it's it's actually right here but just so you guys can see that it actually works and I'm not going to use this program um, for right now in a moment we're going to go back and look at the the wattage um, down here but uh, we're going to use Task Manager Performance. So here is our CPU. You see the base clock speed 3.80. And obviously if it's going to turbo, it's, it's going to turbo over that value. So right now we're seeing some, uh, you know, lower turbos, right? Because this thing currently is uh, capable of, of, you know, getting much closer to 5.0 gigahertz. Now, if I go ahead and click on Disable Turbo Boost, voila. So there's our base speed again, right? And what is the actual speed of the CPU? Uh, averaged across all the cores, 3.38 at the moment. Um, so that's uh, how that works. Now, let's look at, uh, if I can find it again, Extreme Tuning Utility. So... This has dropped down quite a bit for um, the power it's actually using right now. If I uh, take this off, you'll see that value is going to go uh, back up in a moment. Yeah, so that bottom value went from 3 to 4 watts to 7 watts. And of course, if I run the benchmark in here, which I might as well, So we have we have Turbo Boost on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and we'll get a uh, we'll get a score, and then we'll we'll get a highest uh, CPU temperature and um, max processor frequency as well. Now I'm using a uh, not really good CPU cooler for this this good of a uh, CPU. We've got a Cooler Master Hyper 212 on it. And it does allow a little bit of uh, overclocking. So down here you see uh, we hit power limit throttling. Uh, we did not hit thermal throttling. Which, uh, you know, due to the design of this motherboard, it does not appear that we will be able to adjust this. So uh, this motherboard is not going to give you the max potential that you could get out of a higher grade uh, Z490, obviously. So, uh, we hit a max temperature of 78. There was our max core frequency, 4.99 gigahertz. And if I come down here, 160 watts. So it had to do some major cooling. Um, I wish this gave you the, uh, the actual, you know, flat out CPU wattage, but oh well. So this thing is going to cool off a little bit. We're going to clear these values. And then, like I've done in my other videos, this drives me nuts. How many times I got to click on this? It works on the second time. Intel fixed this, right? Okay. So we're going to disable it. And I've done this in the other videos. Um, I'll let this drop down just a little bit more. Hopefully. 
All right, 34 is good. We'll run it again. So we were at 3507. There's no way it's going to be anywhere near 3507. Yeah, 2690. But you see uh, right there, it it didn't turbo, but it, it went all the way to the max base speed, um, which is actually slightly higher than 3.80, but that's another story. There was our highest CPU temp, so uh, quite a difference in uh, temperature. Uh, so this thing was at probably at max CPU utilization, and 96. So, and then down here, that actually is a lot higher than I was expecting. Uh, but what is that? I think that's half of what we had. I'd have to roll back the tape, but um, so you can see significant difference. But yeah, th the real reason for making the video uh, was to show you a, another way to disable Turbo Boost is inside of this software. Now, sadly though, um, power limits, which are under here, uh, are locked out. No matter what I do, I can't undo this. And um, Actually, the directions have this control here, right? But no matter what I do, uh, I can't change it out. Just sad. I'm so sad, folks. This none of these things unlock. You can't do anything because they're all grayed out. Down here it works though. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like. Please subscribe. Thank you.